Yo, before we get started today, I think today is the last day for the kinky avatars code. Um, code on screen right here, and you get the, these three piece. Yo, wait. Uh, am I allowed to show this on video? Anyways, we finally got F Mage Third Awakenings, uh, which is pretty dope. So I'm on my witch here. Oh my god, I really just got bodied there. That's that's pretty embarrassing. Uh, yo, witch art Third Awakening has got to be like one of the best there. So yeah, I want to talk about the events, and the first event I want to talk about is the login reward. So, um, so if you log in during the periods of uh, Christmas, so the 24th to the 26th, you do get these uh, roundy roundy snowman avatars. It's basically the whole package, it includes avatars, aura, and awakening cutscene, and I'm pretty sure this is just for one character. So I guess choose wisely. And the second login will be on New Year's, so December 31st to the January 2nd. You know, these rewards are, to be frank, are kind of sad. There's nothing much in value here, except for the hell tickets. Um, but I feel like this could have been much, much better considering it's the holidays. Like, the one thing we all really need, and I feel like this is like 90% of the FOG community, we really need Kaleido boxes. Like, we're making so many new alts, and our quality of our gear is just like so bad. It's like low rolling, and we're just suffering from that. Neopo, help us. Our mains and alts are suffering from low quality rolls. Or give us some Kaleido boxes. Next is your typical uh, leveling up event, but it's for F mages this time because they just got the third awakenings. Um, nothing crazy here. Special mention plus 11 ticket here. And you get um, the weapon avatar, and the weapon avatar is like a recorder or something, and it's like really small. One thing to note is that there is five subclasses instead of four. So I don't know if you guys want to make five new F mages just for this, but uh, yeah, go ahead if you want to. And the don't ask double it event is uh, ongoing is part two so you got to create a new event character so you can double dip with the f mage leveling event as well if you want to but um in my case i am like super broke like i cannot i literally cannot afford another percent class character so that's why i made um i made the witch for the first double up event and the second event um i made a zerk this time around, you do have enough materials for the permanent ticket, which is very nice. So uh, be sure to keep that in mind when you are buying the shop. Now we go to the present hunt event. It's just basically using uh, the special glasses from this icon here. It's called the Christmas present hunt. And you just locate three hidden presents daily. And I assume everything is located in South Bell Mire, which is um, this location right here. But if it extends to Ghent and like Empyrean and other maps like that, uh, Godspeed my friends because Hide and Seek is a really tough when the world is this big. Anyways, just click on here, uh, you walk around, look for some presents, oh look at that, hidden present here and you just hover over it and boom, Santa is your hidden present. <laughs> okay. Yeah, after you collect all three of the hidden presents. You get stockings, and with the stockings, you can go to Santa here, hang your stockings, and you get um, some rewards. And this is daily. It's also a burning buff from December 24th to the 26th. If it follows Neopo protocol in the previous years, this will not work in raids. So I guess you can just Giga EP in like Oculus or Pandemonium War, I guess, or do some 2 plus 2 cells if you want to. But uh, yeah. And then we go into our last event here. It's called Free and Frosty. It's just like throwing Iris's perfume if you guys done leveling up event. But um, basically you just gotta catch these guys, these Frosty guys in optimal dungeons five times per day. Or you can be Omega Brain. And what you can also do is you just run uh, Guide of Wisdom or Epic Road when the uh, indicator is full, which is right here, the Corrupt Frosty is full. 
and if you kill the boss it will also kill the frosties along with it so you don't actually need to catch the thingies or catch the frosties and well if you want to catch the frosties you can you can go to here and uh buy the capture nets um rewards look like this it's basically for alts some clear tickets character slot extension and that's that uh events are not so great but it is the holiday season and um, there's a lot of decorations and really cool npc uh, costumes i guess you can walk around town and check those out because um, it does require a lot of work to um, to dress up the npcs and make it snowing and change the, ter the terrain and stuff so appreciation for that for that for sure but uh, yeah, that's all for the event updates. There's also ongoing events as well, which is the Monster Coliseum. If you guys haven't already done it, get the legendary card, get some unique talismans and runes, which is always, always very nice. And there's also the Epic Road. If you guys haven't done it, you get five event tickets a day. And uh, yeah, it's just good stuff there. But uh, that's all for this update video. Remember to like and subscribe. We are slowly ever so slowly climbing to 1000 subscribers and that would mean the world to me so if you guys can like and subscribe that would be awesome but uh, until next time see you guys later peace